So I think that given that we just did this example, this one without the two would be straightforward. So do this one without the square. So when you look at this integral, you first see the log. You don't see a power function, and it's not. It's just the log. So all you see is the log, and then you realize that you see the derivative of the log. So you're seeing something times the derivative of something. So I, to be quite frank, I don't know how to justify it, but when I see something times the derivative of something, I know that it came from that something squared with a one-half. Does that make sense? Because how do you get x? You get x from x squared. That's what delivers the thing itself, x. So, I just realized that this must have come from log squared of x. And log squared of x means log of x squared with a one-half plus c. So even though this is technically the inverse power law, it's basically knowing that the derivative of x squared is essentially x, but with a factor of 2. So there is nothing else to say about this problem, except you once again see that sometimes simpler means more complicated because the structure is removed. You guys are with me on that?